Today I've got some tips and tricks to share with you. Did you know that you can hot foil and watercolour together? So I'm going to walk you through it, starting with this beautiful new colour from Crafty Critter. It's called Barley Blue. It's a real pale blue. Now my first tip is to label your hot foil. Ask me how I know. I recently spent a good 5-10 minutes trying to get my hot foiling to work only to realise I'd grabbed the wrong foil. So by having the label inside I can tell exactly what kind of foil this is and when to use it. Alright so I like to use a roller cutter or you could use just a sharp pair of scissors. I have some watercolour cardstock today and this is not something I typically will hot foil on so one of my tips is to make sure that you do a test piece. So I've got the foil that I'm going to be using, the plate that I'm going to be using and a piece of the watercolour cardstock that I'm going to be using. I have actually chosen a smooth bright white watercolour cardstock and this is an ultra new one that comes pre-cut in the A2 size. Now when I'm running it through my die cutting machine after I've let it sit for the minute I do like to run it nice and slowly and I currently do go over the image twice and that's just because my Big Shot is getting very old. I like to let the foil cool down before I remove the foil from the cardstock and this first test piece I actually used one shim only because I have got a pink fresh it's a large hot foil plate and it's called Sweet Blooms and I knew that the plate was hot enough I knew that my machine was hot enough these are a lovely deep hot foiling plate so I thought one shim might have been enough but with the watercolor cardstock I actually needed two and when I added that second shim it made all the difference and I had the perfect result without wasting a whole sheet of foil or a whole sheet of cardstock. One of my favorite thing about these crafty critter foils is the width of them. They actually fit a cover plate die without having to turn the foil on its side so they do last that bit longer for that reason if you're doing a lot of foiling and I just thought I'd quickly share with you some of the new colors that have just been released. They are absolutely beautiful. You should see the Australian copper color and this turquoise I can't wait to play with that and the pink that's called Loganberry pink oh my gosh they are so good oh and I have a discount code and I will put that in the description below but it's lost in paper 05 and that'll give you 5% off your shop at Crafty Critter so if you do decide to go shopping for some hot foil in these new colors make sure you save a bit of money all right, so before I remove my hot foil, I do like to make sure that it's cooled down on the panel. And look at that. It's just beautiful. I am loving this color. So let's get on to the watercoloring portion of this card now. And I am keeping it very simple. I wanted just a really simple background. I just wanted to prove to you that watercoloring and hot foiling uh, are amazing combination and that it can be done half the battle really is to make sure that you get a nice hot foiled image on cardstock that will support watercoloring such as you could use like a bristol smooth cardstock i haven't actually tried that one personally but uh, it's a nice smooth bright white cardstock so I can't see why it wouldn't work you just need to practice like I did and use whatever number of shims that you need with your machine and the plate that you're using and the hot foil that you're using. So these colors are from the artist marker set and I'm just doing a light wash of the watercolor. I used um, just two different colors today some of the blues and uh, jade green here. And because I didn't add a lot of color, it really didn't take too long to dry at all. I did decide to come in and add some splats with the darker blue. I just thought that would add another element to the card because it is going to be very clean and simple otherwise. And today I also wanted to give you a bit of a sneak peek. I've started using this stamp wheel from Alter New and having a lot of fun with it because you can now actually pre-order it it's available at Alton U, but it's not getting released I think until the 22nd of March 2023 
it's a stamp positioning tool but a couple of things that they've added which um I think were very ingenious is they've got a photopolymer mat behind where my cardstock is so that's actually holding the cardstock in place while I'm doing my stamping I don't have to push the cardstock into the corner although I could if I wanted to and then I can just use the flip plate to pick up the image and then flip it over add the ink and then flip it back and stamp it down and I know that each time when I restamp it down it's going to be in the same position just like the misty wood it has a lot of similarities there I used the sentiment here from Hello and Hugs and I decided to do a sub sentiment from the same set and stamped them out with the Cloudy Sky ink which seemed to work um, really well with the combination of colours that I'd used. And I did have to create a little template to cut out the sentiment because it's a solid die and then I just popped both of the sentiments up on the front of the card and added a few gems. I hope you enjoyed today's tips and tricks to hot foil and watercolour and if you did it'd be great if you could click on the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't it's totally free and you won't miss a thing on my channel there'll be more good stuff coming up real soon and I've got two more videos here for you to enjoy and I look forward to seeing you there till next time happy paper crafting bye